and I'm going to hand over to Dr. Catherine Redmond, who's the program director for the General Nursing Programme. Thank you, Suzanne. Hello, everyone. I'm Catherine Redmond, and I look after the general programme. Uh, general nursing is about looking after the adult uh, population, but also when you're looking after an adult, they are part of a family, so you will have a role to play in family, um, looking after the family as well. You'll hear the term registered general nurse. So this is a nurse that has completed their four-year degree and then registered with that nursing board of Ireland. And during your degree, you'll be looking at not just the physical um, care of the patient, we look at the psychological and social cultural care needs of the patient as well. So looking at the patient holistically rather than just on the disease or illness that they may have. Next slide. So during the um, training, you will learn how to respect the dignity of the person. So this is really important. We have qualities that we do want to promote in our students. So uh, instilling dignity, instilling trust and confidentiality, that you will be professionally responsible and accountable, that you will be able to deliver quality practice at the end of care, and that you'll be able to work in a team and collaborate with others. So someone just asked, how much time would you be spending um, on clinical practice? Well, 50% of the four years, that time is spent in UCD and 50% is spent in clinical practice. So off your time in UCD, um, you will find you start in UCD for the first 12 weeks. And then in the second part of the first year, so in second semester, you may go out onto practice for a couple of weeks, come back into UCD for another block time, go back out onto the wards for more practice. So during these times, you are putting into practice what you have just learned in theory. And that continues throughout the four years of the programme. So in total, it's half in UCD and half in clinical practice. When you're in UCD, you'll be attending lectures. You'll be using a special platform called Brightspace where everything is uploaded for you. Be doing clinical skills training, preparing yourself for your time spent in clinical practice. You'll be using a variety of types of learning, such as problem-based learning and cooperative learning, something called motivational interviewing, which will help your skills with communications with patients. You'll be looking at attending tutorials and learning presentation skills and doing a lot of e-learning work as well. Thank you, Suzanne. So this is just showing you a variety of the settings that you will be learning in. So some of the learning will go in such as a standard lecture hall, and you can see one of the lecture halls here in this slide. Then you'll also see to the right of that is a computer lab. So maybe many of you in there looking at some simulations on computer labs. And then we have our clinical skills labs where you may be just working with another colleague in your class on a one-to-one. -one. That colleague could be just sitting beside you as you're taking histories from each other, or they may be acting out as being a patient, so lying in the bed. You can also find uh, that you'd be using mannequins in the bed to help you with some of your clinical skills learning. And you may have actual patients in the bed. So we have actors that come in and act the role of various patients. And that is a very good learning experience where you're learning how to communicate and use all your skills while you're looking after this patient in the bed. Thanks, Suzanne. So when you're doing your clinical practice, you'll be going to a variety of places, but our two main sites are the Matter Hospital and St. Vincent's Healthcare Group. But there is a wide variety. So you may be out in clinical placements in areas such as care of the elderly patients or in child care or in mental health nursing. So even as a general nurse, you will be spending some time looking after patients that have maybe be children or may have mental health issues or even maybe um, in the maternity wards. So you get a wide variety of experiences, but most of your time is spent in the general hospitals, such as the Matter and St. Vincent's. Okay. And when you're in UCD, you can see the four years laid out here that in first year, you're doing a lot of foundation sciences. So 
principles around biological sciences, social sciences and behavioural sciences, and then also going out on your clinical practice. In second and third year, you're developing more knowledge and uh, applying these to um, your patient groups. So you may be looking after patients with, sorry, different conditions. Uh, so things like nursing and midwifery science. So you might be looking after patients that have problems with the musculoskeletal system or problems with their skin. So there's a whole variety. You use all that background information in stage one to help you with your years two and three. And year four is preparing you for professional practice. So that is kind of the uh, general outline of what goes on in your four years of your program. Next slide. And where do you work? You can see, um, you can go to a wide variety of places. So in hospitals, in all the different areas, surgical, medical wards, emergency departments, operating theaters. You could work in the community working with older people in schools, factories, and you can travel all over the world with nursing. It's a very good profession to have chosen. Thank you. Um, and just to say that there is an option, as I had mentioned, I think it's on one of the slides that you can take an elective in second or third year to do um, a semester abroad. So somebody was asking that question. So there is that option in second or third year to take a semester abroad. And we have places such as Sweden, Malta, Spain, France. So there's a wide variety of places you could choose. And um, if you meet the requirements to be able to go onto those placements. So hopefully we'll see you in 2021 taking the general nursing program. I'm going to pass you over to Megan who is a student that's in second year at the moment, and she will give you her insights into the programme. Thank you. Thanks, Catherine. Hi, guys. My name is Megan, and along with Claire, Nina and Shane, have just finished second year of general nursing. I chose nursing as I've always loved communication with and helping people, both young and old. I always had an interest in healthcare, seeing as my aunts were nurses, and I had learned first aid through St. John Ambulance. I know that my biggest worry when I first chose nursing, besides fainting in front at the sight of blood, was that I was parting ways with all my school friends. But it wasn't long before I realised that nursing is a great course for getting to know people between clinical skills labs, nursing and midwifery society events and placements who are constantly meeting new people. I think that general nursing is a good option for those of you who are unsure what type of nursing you'd like to do after graduation, like Catherine and Suzanne were saying, in second and third year, we go on specialist placements like pediatrics, midwifery, mental health, and A&E. A typical day in placement involves working closely with a nurse to help patients with activities such as eating and personal hygiene, checking patients' vital signs, and learning about medications and treatments such as oxygen therapy and wound dressings. Some of the favorite parts of my day are communicating with patients and seeing the smile I put on a patient's face when I bring them a cup of tea. Nursing is perfect for practical learners due to all the learning that takes place in the clinical skills labs, which you use daily in placement. Getting out on placement in first year means you're constantly putting your knowledge to use, so it doesn't come as much of a shock to you when you start your internship in fourth year. This past year, I got the opportunity to study abroad, and I was on my Erasmus in Finland, but sadly I had to return home because of the coronavirus. All in all, nursing takes hard work and dedication, so don't worry if you get discouraged sometimes. I just hope you will all love nursing as much as we all do. Feel free to drop any questions you have in the chat and we'll do our best to answer. Thanks guys. Thanks. Thank you so much, Megan. Thank you, Catherine. 